Hey everybody. So this is another push padlock. This one made by the Yale uh, Yale and Town Manufacturing Company. Uh, this one is probably from the late Victorian period, so 1890s uh, or 1900 or so. Uh, made in uh, Stanford, Connecticut. This is what the original Kibos looked like, and if we flip it over, you'll see that this is one of Yale's earliest uh, pin tumbler mechanisms because it uses a perfectly flat key. So uh, even if you can't find key blanks for it, it's pretty simple to make your own if you can just get a flat strip of steel or brass uh, and file it down to that right to the right height. So we're gonna. This is another push padlock, so we're just gonna lock it up by the shackle and stick a screwdriver in here and get a bit of pressure on it and I'm going to use a somewhat thicker uh, HPC uh, stainless steel hook. Uh, I like this for this uh, just because this can this lock can put up a lot of resistance and uh, this pick will uh, s will overcome it a bit more easily without bending or breaking. So we just reach in there and start feeling around for the first binding pin. Now you uh, want to look for a little bit of separation between the body and the core. If they're perfectly flat, you're not putting, uh, you're not getting real tension on there. But if you lift it and you get that little gap going, then uh, you're you're okay, and you should start to get binding pins. So we're just gonna feel around in here. There we go. We've got movement on last pin there there we go sounds like we got a set We got to be very careful about not oversetting anything here because the age of this lock is such that a lot of the pins are, or a lot of the springs, are losing their strength, and they aren't always able to get the pins back into their resting position. Oh, and there we go. Open. Oh, and I just lost it. So let's try this one more time. I know this is getting on three minutes already, but I want to try to get this on video and show you guys exactly what it looks like before I finally do break this thing. Uh, you know, just this thing is so old and so finicky that, uh, you know, it, every time I pick it, it has to spend a couple days in in a lubricant bath and then I gotta smack it around a bit just to get the pins back uh, into their resting position so there we go so Got it open now. Now, strangely, the pin that holds this plug and shackle in place is incredibly strong. So, here it is open. Uh, you just have a little socket here. See if we get the light on it, you can hopefully look in there. That's all it is. It's a socket, and we have this little uh, pin here, or a little stud that fits in there. And when you get it open, that's the maximum that it pulls away, and that's just enough for this stud to clear this collar. And uh, otherwise, it turns pretty freely, but you really got to strain to overcome that uh, spring. So, until next time, have fun, happy picking, and uh, 
just be careful with your antiques. Bye now.